What's up Zoomers, in this specific video I will be talking about the best REST client that you can use and yes, I am not going to talk about Postman. So here I am having a very specific like a sim super simple Django REST project and uh, the REST client is actually a VS Code extension. So if you just go to the extension section and if you just search for the REST and if you hit enter, alright so the first result you will find is the REST client and you can see they have about 1 max download 1.2 max download and this is on the code server you can see i'm using code server i'm not using the vs code in uh, vs code in my local computer it's on cloud so on cloud they have like about 1.2 million download which is cool so after installing it all you can do is go back to your project uh, directory so wherever you are storing your project and you can create this folder called request.http I mean the name can be anything you just need to have the extension dot HTTP or dot rest so if I open my this file you can see uh, I have some of the uh, requests laid down here so you can see the very first request is like a sort of get request if you want to send a get request you can just type get and then the URL you want to send and then you need to specify this HTTP slash 101 uh, one dot one and then you can specify the content type that you want so in this case like in most of the case it's going to be application slash JSON and then you need to use these uh, three pound symbols to actually close it so you will all automatically get this button called send request so which is super cool so I can just click on this button and it will directly send the result and it will display you here so you can see that I am sending the get request to this URL and you can see it is giving you the result so which is cool and you can just copy the output as well if you want to like over here they have this button called copy response body so you can just copy it and let me show you all right, so you can see they're giving you the copy. Okay, so this is how like you can send a get request if you want to send a post request. So all you have to do is just change the protocol here from the get to post. So in this case, we're doing it. And again, you need to specify the URL to which you want to send the post request and then HTTP slash 1.1. And then you can specify content as type to be application slash JSON. And after adding one space, this is mandatory. You need to add a blank line and then you can provide the data that you want to send for example i want to create a new category so for example fun if you can notice here you will find that i'm using these pound symbols again and again after every single request so which is something mandatory otherwise you will not get these buttons all right so if i send the request here by just clicking on the send request button so you can see that i'm getting the response back and the status code is 201 that means the data that you're sending is created and you can see the id is allocated in the name and time all right, so now if I try to send the get request again to this specific category, all right, then you will get the fun as well. All right, so here you can see fun. Okay, in the same way, you can send the post request to different URL, and in the same way you can send the port request just by changing the port protocol here and the data, that's it. All right, so for example, if we have this specific category, right, so what I can do is basically go to this specific category so here I have the post request for it so I'm just going to copy the post request and go back here and paste it again I'm going to change the protocol from post to actually put and everything else is going to be same then in place of the name for example if you want to change it to fun videos uh, you can do it and then you can change uh, you can send the request just by clicking on this button so when you do it all right, so you will see that I'm getting an error, which is method is not allocated because you need to go to the category slash. You need to explicitly specify the ID. I can specify the ID here. So for example, eight, and if I send the request, all right, so you can see the, so the category name now is fun videos. If you want to change it again, for example, fun videos, or you can say more fun videos. All right, and if you send the request again, so you'll see it has changed. And if I try to send the get request, or oh, sorry, get request again to the categories URL over here, you will get that information. All right, so you can see more fun videos. So this is how you can use uh, the REST client which comes out of the box. Sorry, not out of the box, but it is a Visual Studio Code extension. Now, one factor, like one benefit that you are getting uh, by using it is uh, that you don't have to use any other application. You don't have to move back and forth to use any other third-party application. For example, Postman. And also Postman is quite happy and the processes that are taking place right now are all on the cloud since we are using core server. So yeah, this is a cool thing that you should be using. Like I use it all the time, but 
yeah so this is it for this video and hopefully you like it so yeah all right so we will meet in the other video